Playing Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 is one of the most unique experiences I've encountered in quite some time. It teeters between deep sim and a more traditional game. The 40-year-old franchise has dedicated itself to giving simmers the tools to feel like they can authentically pilot a plane in the sky. With a reduction in installation and memory loading, Team Asobo is now able to concentrate on improving the sim experience and making this digital twin more realistic. This includes adding ground and water collisions, making the landing feel more real. There is interactive physics, where having cargo or a banner attached to your aircraft can affect the takeoff. Realism is also a major focal point, as always with Microsoft Flight Simulator. This new entry is adding to its ray tracing with enhanced shadows on the buttons within the cockpit and bricks on the exterior of airports. When Microsoft Flight Simulator launched in August of 2020, it was a huge generational leap from anything we had seen in flight simulation for quite some time. The lighting engine in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 has also seen a major upgrade. Photometric lighting now ensures that all light sources, from the sun to street lights, have realistic intensities and temperatures. This work will improve the shadows produced in the cockpit and the orange and purple effect seen at sunrise and sunset. Asobo has put extensive effort into maximizing graphical improvements at a low performance cost, resulting in an immensely improved simulator experience. Even city night lighting is significantly improved by the light scatter and engine improvements. The new lighting system can handle extreme contrasts, such as the blinding brightness of the sun at high noon versus the dim glow of a candle at night. This creates more natural transitions between light and shadow, especially in low-light situations like dawn and dusk. Additionally, ray tracing has been implemented to enhance the way light interacts with surfaces inside and outside the aircraft. Cockpit shadows are now much sharper and more accurate, with soft edges depending on how far the light source is. Reflections on glass, the metal surfaces of planes, and even small scratches on cockpit windows are now rendered with incredible realism, bringing the visual fidelity of Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 to a new level. This work will improve the shadows produced in the cockpit and the orange and purple effects seen at sunrise and sunset. Asobo has put extensive effort into maximizing graphical improvements at a low performance cost, resulting in an immensely improved simulator experience. Even city night lighting is significantly improved by the light scatter and engine improvements. With all this in mind, it'll be interesting to see what the performance hit is, especially the CPU versus GPU performance hit. Ray tracing shadows tend to be much less GPU performance intensive than other uses of ray tracing, which might be partly why they decided to use ray tracing for shadows rather than reflections or global illumination. The biggest issue this will solve are the annoying popcorn shadows we get behind small objects like rotary dials and the like, and hopefully shadow flickering on window frames at extreme light angles. People who diss this, saying they don't see the difference, misunderstand the big role light and shadow has in how real something feels, 